After Dark with special guest Jared Campbell, comedian Ramon Valero, and a live musical performance by Burger Patrol. Now, here's your host, David Allen. After 87 years of preparation, episode one is here. It's like a George Lucas movie. <laughs> Waiting for 27 years to be disappointed for 13 minutes. <laughs> How long it shows you that is. Oh man, had a weekend, I did things, there was Netflix, I didn't do a lot. Now I'm here. Right. <laughs> uh, Florida man, weird. Uh, Florida needs to just go. It needs to be done. We're, we don't need it anymore. It needs to go away for a long time because things like this happen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, one person clearly from Florida. Did you say Florida? NASCAR! <laughs> Camera 3 is losing their mind right now. They're not, they're fired. <laughs> I can't even. All right, the Florida man. Uh, sorry, I had a white girl moment. I, I, could, I couldn't even. Think of it. Uh, uh, mom, uh, mom. 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 Moms are weird, right? Uh, Al Gore was right, you guys. Al Gore is right. Global warming is becoming a major issue. Uh, male polar bears are losing uh, their their wiener length. Oh. Yeah, because of global warming. Oh. So all the female polar bears are going black bear and black bear. Black bear. <laughs> and I, my cat's in heat, so I. We're gonna probably gonna cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> So the headline, the headline's great. It says, a single mom jailed after losing job in bomb threat bank heist. <laughs> nightclub, it was 11 o'clock in the morning. It was 11 a.m. 11 a.m., that's not a nightclub. That's, that's a brunch club. <laughs> no one is peeing on anyone over mimosas. <laughs> Her name is Sandy, and she now sells seashells down by the seashell. 13-year-old weed. The French uh, is a Gerard... <laughs> Where, where was I going to go after I said that? What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? 13, 13, square root of 27, number 23, and then Jim Carrey shows up. <laughs> Guys, we have a great show for you tonight. Great show tonight. Uh, first guest is uh, Jared Campbell from Rank County. He's great, amazing guy. Uh, greatest mustache in the game. Uh, we've got some stand-up comedy from a uh, local comic, uh, Ramon Moledo. Very, very funny guy. He's amazing. And our musical guest tonight, Burger Patrol. They're here. They're gonna. No one cares. Yeah, yeah. Burger Patrol is here. Here's the thing, you guys. Stay tuned for uh, overnight. couch tonight we have that light and we also have Jared Campbell from Arangataga oh my god how, how did you get here well you see these getaway sticks right here hmm huh. that takes me wherever I need to go uh -huh, straight to the mothership I've been there of fun walk back too all the way well I crawl apart <laughs> So, uh, I have to ask, um, with a mustache like that, does it have its own personality? Do you have a name for the mustache? I call this particular mustache, uh, Joanne Watkins. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very, very, uh, very saucy. It's a very saucy name. It's a saucy mustache. Yeah. For, Sometimes. Uh, <laughs> what do you call yours? Uh, I call mine regret. <laughs> regret? That's what I call. <laughs> that's what I smell on it <laughs> every Sunday morning. <laughs> so on the subject of names, you are uh, you're the lead man, front man. 
the voice of Orangutanga. <laughs> you, uh, you guys were used to be called the Brevard Busking Coalition. Correct. Recently changed the name. Uh, what's, why the name change? Uh, why the choice of Orangutanga for your new name? So we had, um, we used to be a six piece. There were six members in the band and Brian Tilford, uh, was one of those members and he actually passed away, uh, last year in 2014. So we wanted to honor that. We wanted to honor his contribution because it's a different band without him. We were a six piece of brothers. People, I mean, 20 years we've all known each other at right. least, you know? So we said, okay, well, we want to continue going on, but we also want to honor our friend. So we decided that the best way to do that would be to end the chapter that was known as Brevard Busking Coalition and go on with a new name. And uh, we chose Orangutanga. Keep playing, keep having fun. Keep having fun, because it's a different band now. It really is. Yeah. I mean, Brian Tilford was an amazing musician. Absolutely. He, could, he, could, he was our shredder. He could play anything in the most bizarre way you could ever <laughs> think of. And we'd, when he passed, we are like, well, how are we going to play his songs? We, we can't play his songs really anymore right. because we don't know how to. <laughs> and that's the truth, you know? It really is. We don't know how to do it. You know, I mean, he had these chords. We call them Tilfords. You know, like, like what? <laughs> the, is I that? don't know how to play this yeah, chord. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and, and Brian would be like, "No, oh, what? No problem here. Yeah, oh, I yeah. just do this. I learned this from this guy." Blah blah blah. blah, blah. <laughs> and we're like, oh my god. Had, so when he passed, we decided that you know we needed to put a line in the sand that was just nothing but respect for the guy. The end and the and beginning. The end and the beginning. And you know, and plus. When you're in a band, when, when you're in a new band, that is yeah. the most fun. It's the most that fun new time. excitement, the that new excitement, the new excitement, and the... so even though we're an old band, and but men mentally, it's a new band. How you doing? What's happening? Guys, you know what pisses me off? When people don't use turn signals when you're driving? Come on! But you know what really gets my goat? La chupacabra. <laughs> Hello! Is this thing on? Is this thing on? I'm starting a business for surrogate mothers. Well, well it, it, it deals with surrogate mothers. Basically, like... You send us your load, whatever, and <laughs> we team you up. Anyway, it's called Wombs to Go. <laughs> Have you heard about this, guys? Have you heard about this? <sighs> Come getting old, man. Because uh, I actually um, I found a gray hair the other day. But it was down there. You know? <whistles> it was a false alarm, though, because it wasn't mine. So, uh... I watched a, um, a documentary the other day on carbon emissions, and it was exhausting. <laughs> I watched another documentary on uh, African tree frogs, and it was riveting. So <laughs> I, um, I tried to picture the movie The Terminator, but with frogs. That would be awesome. Like, uh, like the, the, the Toadinator? Is that what it is? That <laughs> really? An audible sigh? <laughs> <laughs> so, this rubbish at open mics. The Toads? Talking about the Toadinator? How dare you! How dare you! Light? Okay. Um, some, of the, uh, some of the comedians you've seen here tonight are a little eccentric. I'm a little teapot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ramon Milano. Like, it's like twins, right? You know, twins speak, we'll like, and then the other guy's like, <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> 
And you guys all, uh, most of you play multiple instruments at the same. Is there something in particular that you, like, when it's your turn to play this thing, you're like, this is, I'm going to really enjoy this. This is my favorite thing. My favorite, not lion, my favorite it, thing to play yeah. is the kazoo. Yes! <laughs> not yeah. even. That is <laughs> collectively how we I, all feel, I, actually. <laughs> Do you have, you have your kazoo! I, I this have my kazoo right yes. here. It's an official Brevard Busking Coalition yes. kazoo. Yes. <laughs> and Brevard Busking, or uh, no, is orangutanga.com Oh, yeah, now, well, correct? we're going to have kazoos too, but we just haven't yes. gotten them done yet. So. I gave yeah. my dad one of those for Christmas, actually. Oh, really? Yes, hey, I did. that's a good Absolutely. present. Absolutely. These are quality kazoos. This is not, we didn't just buy some, like, run-of-the-mill. This is, like, made in America. America! That's right. <laughs> so we, we, we've talked a little bit about orangutanga. They're amazing. Yeah. I love watching you guys. You're, you're amazing. Thank I'd like you. To, I'd like to talk a little about Jared Campbell. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you used to teach uh, high school science? I did. I taught, Is that correct? I taught high school and middle school science for 10 years. D do you think uh, teaching uh, teenagers uh, helped you prepare at all for performing in front of, like, intoxicated strangers? Like, was that a... a actually, no, I think it was the other way around, actually. Okay. Performing in front of intoxicated st strangers is what made me a better teacher, I think. <laughs> I, I literally... More patience. I, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Nothing faced me. I mean, nothing <laughs> faced me, you know? That's great. If I'm able to deal with drunks, and, and those are just people in the band, yeah. you know? That, <laughs> Grown add, men. Add that on, yeah, on to people who are dancing and carrying on like yeah. crazy people, then you're pretty, you know, you're yeah. pretty, getting good prep, actually. Good, good prep. Good. So. All right. <laughs> so I actually have, it's, it's, a, it's a science question that's been plaguing me yeah. uh, for, for centuries. How, uh, how is photoelectron energy related to uh, excitation wavelength? So, well, let's go back one step because I think that's a hard place to start. The, you know, a photon itself can be characterized by either a wavelength or the energy. The energy is equal to Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by gamma radiation. Very, 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 very small wavelength. Huge energy. To those things. Ever seen a fluorescent, fluorescent light, right? You know, small particles all in there and everything. Oh, yeah, it caused the Hulk, right? Is the, you know, the two, so it kind of like, I always say it kind of like farts. Like, and that's when the energy <laughs> comes off. Like, if it's a real, if it, right, mercury, the metal, right, the stuff that's in thermometers, so much energy going in, right? So much energy going in. Uh, so this, this, this photon's getting excited. His oh. friend Keiki, though, he was KK, but it was Kiki. Ask your question one more time. Electron jumps up to high. It's like, whoa, I got so much energy. Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> but what comes up has to come down. And then coming out of that is the light that you see. So I don't know if that fully answers yes. your question. Yes. But I'm not convinced you knew what question you were asking. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Campbell, uh, who said this wasn't a kid's show? Your children can learn something. Oh, that's right. That's more See, than, kids? Yeah. Science Watch is useful. One topping that you cannot order your pizza without. Love. Accurate, actually. That is a correct, <laughs> that's right. that is a correct answer <laughs> for the pizza question. <laughs> yes. Has to. Um, Mama's very love. important question after this evening. Yeah. Uh, hot dog or a hamburger? Well... Hot dog or hamburger? I'm gonna say this. This is a, this is an exclusive. I'm gonna say it right now. You guys ready? I only got one answer. Hamburger. Burgers. You heard it here first. <laughs> Hamburgers, everybody. Jerry Campbell is a hamburger man. A hamburger man. Sign me up, two states. Let's go. Ladies
All right, you host the weekly uh, Monday Night Funk Jam. That's right. At Open Mics. How do you like it? You love it? It's great. I love it. Actually, I love it. Monday night is like the best night of the week. Yes. It's the best night of the week. Yes. I think everybody agrees. You can smell it when they come in. You can, oh, yeah, you can it smell like it. smells like funk in here. That's right. It smells like funk. It smells like the funk. Oh, shit. Not this guy. Come on. <laughs> Guys, this is Tom Van Dyke. Orangutanga oh, is oh, hanging oh. out, doing things. Oh. Tom, you smell like cinnamon. That's been left in a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ow! Well, uh, I want to say thank you for being a great host of Mike's. We love having you here. You're amazing. Thank you. I love um, I love being here. It's a treat. Orangutanga.com. Did you need anything else for me? No, you can go. You, yeah, you're good. Uh, you can get out of here. I'll see you next week. Yeah, no All problem. Right. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bring back yeah. some hamburgers. Nick McMahon, everyone. Uh, yeah. I like hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you would say that. <laughs> and snack time. Snacks. You guys like snacks? I love snacks. This is like a. This is a great. Oh we my have goodness. A, <laughs> this is how we do it. Fruit is amazing. Fruit is like. You know this. what? Um, apples. Like, they're out of season, but they're delicious. Hey, you're drinking hey, all those things. You already hey, left. Get out of here. Hey. Come on, man. <laughs> Snack time is the best time. I got Choco Tacos in the back. You guys, you guys want a Choco Taco? Really? Yeah. Yeah, stay right here. I'll be able to get Choco Taco. I'll be right back. Tom, what's on your shirt? Just shirt-in? talk amongst yourself. Oh, yeah, sweet. Tom, I kind of think that you yeah. look sort of the cross between, like, um, I'm thinking. Oh, I totally got it. Albert Einstein and Margaret Thatcher. Here you go. Sweet. Here you go. Thanks for coming what on. What the heck? Here's your prize. Um, we haven't worked out how to end snack time yet. So we're just going to. All right, guys, that was snack time. Uh, oh! Hey, it's the Thorpe of Burger Patrol! It's the cameo episode, you guys. Here, Camel. Tom Van Dyke. Guys, uh, Orangutanga, orangutanga.com, check them out. They're amazing. OpenMux.com. Um, yeah. Equals twice cost of the discount music. Divided by one. Good night.